All right, so this video is about graphing linear equations. And first thing we need to know is what a linear equation standard form is. So this is um, slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is in the form y equals mx plus b. In slope-intercept form, m means slope. And the b variable means y-intercept. That's why we call it slope-intercept form. In this form, we can easily see its slope, which is the number in front of x. And the b value, or the y-intercept, it has the is the number that's a constant there on the end without an x. The standard form of the equation is a little bit different. But we're not going to talk about standard form now. We just can talk about slope-intercept form. So let's actually do some problems. In this equation, in this graph, it says sketch the graph of the line y equals 7 over 2x subtract 2. In this line, my slope, or m, is 7 over 2. We use m to represent slope. My y-intercept is negative 2. Now what a y-intercept is, is a place where it crosses the y-axis, or intercepts the y-axis. So my y-intercept is right here at negative 2. So there's one point that we know for certain is on, on this line at y equals negative 2. And if I find other points on the line, we need this, we need this slope. If slope is written in form rise over run. So if we have a fraction already, we can use the rise and the run. That means it rises 7 and runs 2 everywhere along that line. So from this point, we're going to rise up 7, then run to the right 2. Since this is positive, we go, we go up and to the right, because both of those are positive directions. So we go up 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and go over 2, 1, 2. That's another point on that line. If I wanted more points, I could rise 7 again and go over 2. I don't have any more space there, so that's enough. To make a line, all you need is two points, so that's enough to actually qualify as a line. And from there, you disconnect the dots. So, at those two dots, I'm going to connect them with the straight edge. And this is the line that we were given. The second one says y equals negative 6x plus 3. So, my slope is negative 6, and my y intercept is 3. We typically like our slope as a fraction. So since it's negative 6, I'm going to make it a fraction by putting it over 1. That way I can easily see my rise and my run. So my y-intercept is 3, so I'm going to go to the y-axis to 3. And it says my rise over run is negative 6 over positive 1. So it means i got to rise negative 6. To rise negative 6 means to go down 6. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and run 1. I got two points, which is enough points. I like to draw more than just two points, though. So I'm going to have one, two, three. This is about four, five, six, and over one. So I got a better picture if I use three points. And that would be the line. So connect those dots. That's my line for that graph. Let's go to number three. Number three, they give you y equals negative five. In this case, your slope is zero because you don't have an x there. I mean, your slope is zero. Your y-intercept is negative five. So if you made zero a fraction, that would be zero over one. That's your rise over run. So if I graph that line, my y-intercept is at negative 5. I rise 0, run 1. So I go end up there. I can rise 0 and one, run 1 again. If I keep rising 0 and running 1, I would see it's really a horizontal line. So connect those dots. I basically have the line just goes to 5. So that would be the line. Y equals 5. 
Let's do another one. Here it says graph 6 over 5 plus 1. All right, and graphing that, my slope, 6 over 5, my y-intercept is 1. So I'm going to go over to where it's 1 on the y-axis. I'm going to rise 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and run 1. So you see it actually went off the graph a bit. So those two points are enough, and I can connect the dots. And this would be the line. That would be that line. Sometimes they're not already written in that form. For example, sometimes they give you equations like this. It may give you the equation, and actually the graph. The graph 3x plus 2y equals a 6. In this case, it's not already solved for y. In all the other examples we just looked at, the equation was already in slope intercept form, where I can already see y equals mx plus b. So each time I can see my slope, and I can see my b value. Here, it's not in slope intercept form. This is actually standard form. So, because you have x and y's on the same side. So, it's because it's in standard form, not slope intercept form, I would rewrite it so that it is by solving for the variable y. So, I'm going to solve that equation for y. I'll subtract 3x from both sides. And I'll get 2y equals a 6, subtract 3x. They're unlike terms, so you can't combine them other than 6 to track 3x. And to finish solving for y, you divide both sides by the number 2. By dividing both sides by 2, it allows your y's to cancel. Give you y equals 6 to track 3x over 2. Because we don't use the C it that way, we can rewrite this as two separate fractions. This would be y equals 6 over 2, subtract 3 over 2, x. So the 6 gets divided by 2, making one fraction. The 3 gets divided by 2, making a second fraction. And since that's 3 is times x, we put times x next to it. You could put it up with the 3 if you wanted, but I'm just going to put it next to it so I can more easily see my slope. So from there, ordinarily the x comes first. So let's rewrite it so it's in slope intercept form. Instead of leaving x here, I'm going to put it in the first. So 3 over 2x. And uh, 6 over 2, I'm going to rewrite in the back. Since 6 over 2 reduces to be a whole number, I'm going to write it. 6 over 2 is just 3. So now I've rewritten the equation into the proper form to graph it. So if I wanted to graph that equation, I would simply take a graph and plot it. So if we graph that equation, this would be it. So the equation was y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 3. And by graphing in the screen, I know my y-intercept and my slope. My y-intercept is 3 my slope is negative 3 over 2. So when I plot it, I'm going to plot a point where y is 3, which is here. And my slope is negative 3 over 2. So I'm going to rise negative 3 and run 2. So the rise negative 3 means go down 3. So down 1, 2, 3, and run to the right 2. I can go down 1, 2, 3, and run to the right 2 again. And keep finding points on this line. I can go down 1, 2, 3, run to the right again. And technically, you only need two points, but I like to draw multiple points to make sure I'm plotting them correctly. So from there, here we are. Connect the dots, making the line, and it should look like this. So that'd be the line 
the roses back grass. Give me one last one. This would be write. This example says write the equation in slope intercept form. So if I'm gonna write that in a slope intercept form, I need to isolate this y so it's by itself. So I need to move everything away from this y. So I'm gonna subtract four from both sides. Giving me six x plus y equals to two x plus two. I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. Give me y equals negative 4x plus 2. And now it's in slope intercept form. If I wanted to graph it, I can see my slope is negative 4. And I can see my y intercept is 2. That's all I have. Good luck.